As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from a research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. And Bad Robot, you guys may know the name. It's J.J. Abrams, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, like production company. Yeah. And, and the headline here is Bad Robot Games clinches 40 million Series B fundraising round. And, and so Bad Robot Games is the video game division of his production company. Uh, the, the financing round was led by Galaxy Interactive, big entertainment venture fund, uh, Horizons Ventures, Iconic Capital, and Tencent, interestingly enough. Uh, and, uh, and, and so, you know, a pretty good, uh, you know, slate of investors there, very strong investors there. And the whole idea is what they're saying is with this funding, they're going to build out the studio and co-development sides of our operation, create games that cross platforms, cross mediums, and are based on IP originating from both games and linear content. Um, and they're very much looking forward to announcing their first titles. So um, what do you guys think of this? 40 million is a big round for a game studio at that stage, right? They haven't put out a game. Yeah. And, um, and this, just to be clear, the company originally started in 2018 and the original financing was from Tencent and Warner Brothers. So they already had very big entertainment and gaming names in there. Is this, you know... Is this going to end up being the example of movies and entertainment not understanding the gaming world, right? Five years from now, where they still don't have a game or they have something that, that got canceled or flopped? Or are we going to see this as the perfect marriage between movies and gaming and, and sort of the holy grail where IP can cross into both sides and work well on both sides? I'm curious where you guys see this playing out. My entire stance on this was competing views. I like had the most like whataboutism. Like when I was reading through this, I could not help myself of like three years is a long time without producing a game. But CD Projekt Red spent you know forever in development with Cyberpunk, and then it failed. So it's better to take some the time that you need. But three years is a long time. They should get more funding if they're going to make an Oscar level worthy game. But then again, do people even really like Oscar level worthy games? Is that even a good idea? But it's J.J. Abrams. Like I mean, I like. <laughs> in my own mind like it just it kept going and going like their initial funding was a lot but 40 million is it like it just i mean there's i have no idea how this is gonna play like there's just so, <laughs> lots of back and forth <laughs> That's but no. I, ended. <laughs> yeah, no I keep trying I, the one thing i suppose that gives me some faith in this is that i don't think they would have raised series b funding from such prominent companies if they hadn't put together some type of presentation that was compelling um, Keep in mind, you walk into a room and you're like, I'm J.J. Abrams, give me 40 yeah. million oh, bucks, yeah. is you, is probably like <laughs> the, the, again, where, where the pitch the ends. It's a good pitch. Right? Right. It's a good pitch. A good pitch. Uh, but, so, well, I'm, and that's what still gives me like some hope in it. But, you know, that hope is. Is Very the question, <laughs> are we surprised that they got the money or do we no. think it's going to turn into like, a good game? Gonna... Like, how could like, we possibly like, know? If we're having this conversation. We have no information about the game. The only thing we know is it's J.J. Abrams, so. Maybe it's 10 games. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe it's going to be good. I think that it would be, I like to be optimistic. I mean, we talk all about this crossover world, this, the met, it's not really metaverse, but metaverse type where we, you know, IP goes from linear to interactive and, it's sort of like that's that is the future. I think. Um, can it can it be J.J. Abrams that creates that future? I don't know. Maybe he's really he's good at making movies and TV. But that's so. that's kind of the crux of the I question. I don't know. Maybe Does being good at making movies 
And I would argue J.J. Abrams is not good at making movies. <laughs> because <laughs> Tess says, I'd pay for a Star Trek adventure game a la J.J. Abrams. Tess, I love you. You know I love you. But J.J. Abrams single-handedly ruined Star Trek, okay? Um, <laughs> and, and so, so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, in all seriousness, it's all going to depend on who they bring in, right, to build the actual game. J.J. Abrams, I assume, is just like the executive producer, like kind of putting all his face on this. Maybe he's involved in the story writing. I don't even know if he writes his own scripts or what he – I don't – I, I admittedly I don't know much uh, that much about JJ Abrams as much as you clearly but there's a do. bigger question uh, Jeff which is like should movie should people in the movie business be making games or should they stick to making movies right and people in the game business should they be trying to cross over into movies or should they stick to making games like because this could have been like B bad robot right didn't need to start a studio called bad robot games what they could have done is they could have said you know, we have some original IP we're developing into movies, right? And then go talk to EA and say, EA, can you make a game around this? Of course, the vertical, you know, the uh, specialization is, is a lot of times the best, the best strategy. But if we all agree that at some point the future should look like integrated, um, interactive and linear content, and that's like the, the nirvana where we're, we're supposed to head, then why why not let them try like will it fail yeah probably but that doesn't mean it's not a worthy goal and i think that you know it, your question is interesting and i'm not sure the answer of okay it seemed like you posed it two different ways but i, I think the question that's more interesting is 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 it better for a games person to try to make content like movies and tv or a tv movies per person try to make games yeah i don't know the answer i don't know the answer to that question uh, well, Tess has all, the I, answer in this case, which is, <laughs> and Tess is one of my superstars, and this is this, this is the reason why. This is you know, this is how you know um, someone works for me. <laughs> like <laughs> he also ruined Star Wars. I haven't forgiven him either. <laughs> this is greatest comment ever, and I yeah. couldn't agree more. <laughs> I mean, he did. He so ruined my two loves. Hero. He's a no, hero. He, I mean, he ruined, kills both. He oh, killed the annoying drama. Star Trek people and the annoying Star Wars people. Us normal people can can be happy now, you know. <laughs> he did. He single handedly destroyed everything I love. I mean, that's that's just the unfortunate. Very part dramatic. Of uh, did he kill Lord of the Rings as well, or World of Warcraft? <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, right. no, but he might with bad robot games. <laughs> with bad robots, they're going to announce an ambitious crossover with Activision Blizzard. <laughs>